Hi, pony. Alright, let's go in here and deal with the fallout of what we just did. Arnbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. But what of the fool? Is Cicero dead? Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Tell you what, why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? <gasps> He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. Yay! And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? Right, so what's my next task? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him. Will do, Miss Lady. kill we all wield the blade all right so let's talk to festus hmm. Hmm. me i've been part of the dark brotherhood oh. from the day i first hatched yep you're still sitting in the blood that's great born under the sign of the shadow bonus on that one and sure it was so easy i feel a bit guilty once again, the sweet instant child and more Festus? Are you Festus now? Who is Festus? He's the old guy, right? There he is. There you are. Took your sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astrid told you about the gourmet, I hope. That I need to kill him and take on his identity? Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the Gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. Hmm. You know, maybe I was wrong about you after all. Anyone who's smart enough to shut up and listen can't be all bad. In my, uh, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook. <laughs> But not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the Keep in Markarth. It would seem he's the cook. Okay. And this Anton Varan knows the Gourmet's true anyway? I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan. Who the Gourmet really is and where he can be found. Sounds good. Oh. And when you're done with Varan, kill him. Loose ends and all that. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? Huh. <laughs> As I was saying, you'll need to kill the Gourmet, of course. But what's more, you'll need to get his writ of passage so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. Hide his body. How in the balls am I going to end up doing that? Tell me about this cookbook. Uncommon taste. It was published a few years. The recipe. I made a few. Ooh. But his chocolate pate gives me the rock. Gross. I didn't need to know that. What else can you tell me about the gourmet? Nobody knows his true identity. Well, nobody except Gaius Morrow. <laughs> You've already taken care of him. Whoops. Well, I do know the gourmet was classically trained in traditional Breton cuisine in High Rock. So, that's where he must have met Anton Varan. In any event, our anonymous chef shares a passion for food with all of Tamriel. And that anonymity will prove the Emperor's undoing. Okay. Remember, the 
Barkov Keep. That's where you'll find Anton Varan. Probably cooking up all of the gourmet's recipes, passing them off as his own. So it looks like we're heading out to Markarth. Hello. Hog! Let's see here. So we're heading off to Markarth now to figure out cuisine and something. I kind of lost. <laughs> I stopped paying attention after the first little bit. But anyway, uh, it's in the quest log. I'll figure it out. Um. Yeah. So let's do that. Let's go up here. I have a feeling we're going to get to keep that horse somehow or another. <laughs> Not exactly sure how that's going to happen just yet, but... It's uh, probably going to happen. Question on... Where does this is Rex? Okay. So let's go get the information from him. He should be up in Markarth. So let's go ahead and do a fast travel up in there. And uh, see what he's bebopping up to. And then stab him in the back. Before he can see it. Before he even knows. Wait. I... No, you don't. <laughs> Wait, I know you. Uh, I'm not the same person that stole a lot of crap and then ran away. Don't look at me like that. Okay, so he's in here. This is a dark, dank little dwarven town. It's kind of hard to see. I hope the visibility is okay. Whoop. Doggy! Okay. Get to work. We have meals to prepare and no time to prepare them. Right away, sir. Always yes, yes, thing. for the hundredth time. I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a rich man. Remain silent. Who are you? What do you want? The Gourmet. Who is he, and where is he? The... the Gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the Gourmet's identity to my grave. For the Dark Brotherhood, that can be easily arranged. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagog Gronolob. He's an orc. The Gourmet's an orc. Whoa. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. What a twist. Now, now you'll let me go, right? Remain silent. So, we're done? to work or Anton will rip my head off. Okay, time to hang out. Please, please, just let me be. 